Well, look, we're in Detroit. Uh, we're about to kick off things with Ford Trends uh, Conference. We're downstairs here in the hotel where they're putting on a bit of a sound exhibition. I honestly can't explain what's going on here other than to suggest that it's all about how we interact with sound and that means a better sound in our cars is coming in the future. About the sound. Ooh. Okay, so now we're going to leave the uh, Detroit Airport Western Hotel. I'm going to head to Ford's Global Headquarters to see what they've got on offer. So the thing about this uh, this airport is it's, uh, it's huge for a start. The terminal is quite long, long to walk through. There's actually a little train up there inside the terminal. But the Western Hotel is actually right here. Uh, my room, in fact, looks straight out onto this terminal. Awesome place to stay if you love planes. Meadows and the Ford headquarters in Australia, but this is the global headquarters of Ford. This iconic building it was one of the first kind of wraparound glass structures, very standard architecture today, but at the time a huge thing for the for the industry. About 3,000 employees here. This is Ford World Headquarters. You know in Australia the Mustang is probably the most iconic part of the Ford lineup. Same here, um, there's multiple Mustangs here on, on show in the foyer. The first cars you see when you arrive at Ford headquarters. So yeah, you've got your Mustangs, but behind me here is a 1903 Model A. One of the oldest, the oldest surviving Ford production car. Um, built just one month after the Ford Motor Company was created. Ford World Headquarters are going to start the day here at Ford Trends with a keynote from the boss of Ford and a few other guest speakers. We have set up a theme in this conference to explore what are the underlying drivers of change. In a word, we're buying and we're going to talk about how we're going to change the way that we think about the environment. We're going to talk about how we're going to change the way that we think about the environment. And what is the environment around us trying to achieve? Are they trying to achieve our long term well being? Or are they trying to achieve their short term well being? Bottom line is that the world has moved from just owning vehicles to owning them and sharing. It really is a very exciting time in the auto industry, in particular, a very exciting time at Ford. And that's why we recently announced our intent to have a high volume, fully autonomous vehicle in commercial operation by 2021 in a ride hailing or ride sharing service. Okay, so we just heard from the CEO and President of Ford globally up here on stage who uh, has a very clear vision of the autonomous car, of mobility and the way they're using bikes, buses and autonomous cars by 2021. Development Center, there's an autonomous vehicle just behind me over there. And we're just here for another few sessions here talking about uh, sustainability and uh, what Ford's doing in that area. And uh, they're just teasing us with nice new cars all parked around. Literally nothing has changed in the last 20 years in terms of the top things that motivate people to buy or to work for someone, except for one thing. And that is social responsibility and sustainability. So our goal right now is to engage the 200,000 in an integrated approach to drive sustainability even further because we've come a long way, but we have a long way to go. Sustainability is no longer a sideshow. It is, it is it has to be at the very core of imagining how you're operating and thinking So talking sustainability here at Ford, and don't imagine for a second they're not thinking about environmental sustainability as well as uh, energy sustainability. These are electric cars, hybrids, plug-in electric and fully electric cars from Ford. We might not see them in Australia yet, but it's really about market maturity, and that's the kind of thing that in time will come. Radio. 
uh, we are back at uh, Ford World Headquarters, uh, having uh, seen that sustainability conversation, and now we will have another keynote before we head back to the hotel for a big dinner. I was back inside the uh, Ford Headquarters Theatre uh, for another session on disruption, so this will be interesting to see what they piece themselves in terms of how disruption works in the motor industry. And I can't think of a better person to help us understand the dynamics of that, other than Dan Lyon. By the way, I, I also want to apologize for my accent. I'm from Boston, and I think it's cruel to put me in a situation where I have to say the word car over and over again. <laughs> but, and marketing. Marketing about cows. So, <laughs> they have a gun out of my system. It says, say, no, it's not a speech from Pat, it's an accent. Uh, so. Here in Detroit, this so is cool for a future thinking conference they have every year. All right, so we're on the bus leaving Ford World Headquarters um, after a full day of conferences and, and conversations. Um, a lot of interesting ideas. Uh, they've actually got some staff that are putting up ideas for new projects and new and new innovations. Um, it's always good to see companies encouraging staff to do stuff. So a full day of uh, hearing about sustainability and innovation and autonomous cars. Um, now we're off to uh, see a bit of an announcement. I think will be about sound in Ford cars. And then, uh, then dinner, and tomorrow we'll get to drive in, not drive, an autonomous car. speakers inside Ford vehicles from 2017 so uh, a range of vehicles a range of models will have B&O play speakers uh, with sound specifically tailored for each model so and we should see those in Australia too.